Today we're gonna make Spanakopita. It's a Greek spinach pie from the scratch. I will show you also how we make ourselves the dough, the filo that we need. Come to my kitchen, show you how easy it is to do it yourself. Our hero, the spinach. Have nice spinach here. What you're gonna need is three big ones or four small ones, spring onions, some dill I have here, fresh dill and some mint. Very necessary, 200 grams of feta, half kilo of spinach, two eggs we need, salt and pepper, olive oil, three teaspoons to make our filling and for the filo, and Imam will show you the dough and how we make the filo ourselves. And for that we need this, it's melted butter and uh, on olive oil around 250 grams. We're gonna need that. So that's it to start. We start with to cut our spring onions. <clears throat> that's the small pieces. That's the first thing we're gonna fry. Give some taste in the olive oil. <clears throat> So now we're making our filling, that's clear, no? I mean, and once we have this, because it has to, uh, we have to leave it to uh, cooling uh, down the sauce. I have here my olive oil. Okay, that will start sizzling. In the meantime, we cut also our dill, small pieces, it's very important. Very simple. Voila. And any moment, and some fresh mint. All this freshness, pepper, of course, and salt. So. And the eggs and the feta, we leave it for in the end. We don't need it now. So, our spinach is nice done here, the right color, the moisture is gone. So now we put the 200 gram of feta, take care that it is feta. I have here has two eggs, the yolks of two eggs. Not the whole egg, the yolks of the two eggs. Turn them like this. In it. And stir it immediately before it gets omelette. This we gonna build more together. Let's say kind of a, as you see, kind of a sauce when we mix this together. Lovely. So, this thing now, our filling, the spinach, we leave it. We are finished with it. It has to leave it cooling down. We'll come back later to it. Now we're gonna go and start with our dough to open the filo. Now we start with our dough. What we need is put some flour on the table. And also no plastic. Here we have the dough. I'll make the filo. It's nice post. And put some of the air out. It's nice and soft. But I use the dough. I will put under the film. I will put um, the ingredients in the description. What I have in the dough. So that's the way. one part has to wait. One part we make our one filo. You see the dough is, and we open to get it more thin and thin. Gets like this, and it gets inside to open it as much as we can. Oh, lovely. You 
see that. Gets nice and thin. Just roll it nice and softly. Open. Okay, that's the flower. Beautiful. This we can open it. We can open it also. And then, I think it's, this is enough. It will show us to go on our packing plate. Now here we need some more flour, otherwise it gets thick. That's very important when you roll it. So now we have made a, a first layer of the phyllo. We wait for our filling, the spinach, to cool down. In the meanwhile, in the corners it's very important with this mixture of oil and butter to put around. And uh, also in our filo, just sprinkle a bit like this. This it will make it even more crispy. Okay, now we are ready to pull here the spinach we did. Voila. This thin thing, maybe you can find it. Uh, I think easiest thing. It's a special thing. It's a plastic from Greece, but maybe if you take a piece of broom, cut it on size. So that's the one part of the filo. Okay. Then I have here my baking plate. As you can see, it's a nice job to make everything messy in your kitchen. <laughs> Children love it. I remember from. All days, okay. And now we slowly, slowly roll it over our let's see. Oh, I have to cut a little bit from here. Yes, I have put, of course, some butter. Oh. If we didn't put butter in our dolls and uh, no eggs and feta, this could be so vegan. Now it's for vegetarian, of course, but uh, it could be vegan. I put the other piece of filo and then I turn the edges like this together. So it will be in the end all this around very crispy. Maybe you know it from the Pizza Napolitana, from the Pizza Napolitana, they have also this nice uh, crispy around. Okay, and then we put this so the moisture can evaporate. We're almost done, guys. Then with our mixture, now we need a lot of oil here, especially first around the corners. Very important because it's more thick. The dolls and that's almost and then the oven is ready we have it on 200 degrees celsius let's put some sprinkle some of this it's very crispy voila more than enough now some like to put some season get some sesame seats above it but uh, that's it in the oven 200 degrees for 35 minutes after 25 i would check keep it always okay see you later i had 35 minutes and here it is our baby, Spana Copita, spinach pie. Thank you guys. Oh yes, I forgot the ingredients 
you will see it under the film, but also from the dough. So the dough and the filo. The recipe I for my mother, it's 500 grams of flour, white flour. It's uh, 150 grams sunflower oil or olive oil. I put olive oil, my mother put sunflower oil. And then you put uh, one and a half teaspoon of uh, vinegar and 250 ml water and some salt. That's for the dough. Evgaristo, Kali Orexi, Bon Appetit, Kala Christugina, Kales Yortes, Merry Christmas to everybody. So, you know, every Friday a new recipe, also in the special days. Okay, love you all. Gracias, Kali Orexi.